Well, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, the other thing is you're wearing Echnozome armor, which is very weak to water. Well, I, I changed it to fight the music thing. Oh, you did? Okay. But I don't have anything better, honestly. Yeah. Um, you don't have every armor in the game? What? <laughs> Do you even know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am! Uh, don't, don't worry, Haley. I've never once thought about armor weaknesses. <laughs> you know, Thank like, you, Jordan. Generally, I haven't either. <laughs> yeah, either. at this point, I, I literally only care about the skills for the armor. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, got, an, I got an armor and hammer that has, like, as like a nice general all around usefulness, and I've just not changed it. Jordan purchased yeah. the company yeah. Arm and Hammer. That you can call me uh, Army <laughs> Hammer Junior. Army mm. Hammer. Army Hammer. Which one are? Uh, Army Hammer, the, the son of the starter of Arm and Hammer. Is he the heir to the Arm and Hammer fortune? I'm pretty sure he is. I yes. think he is. Okay. Have I? He is. We've talked Wait, about what? this before <laughs> while playing this game. I think. I have never. I heard believe it. No, for real? Heard this Army yeah, Hammer I... exits treatment facility amid, amid sexual abuse <laughs> allegations. Oh I no! Mean, Army. Army Hammer, Army Hammer's not in a great spot right now. Oh great! Army <laughs> Hammer. <laughs> no opinion on Army Hammer. The fall of Army Hammer, a family saga of sex, money, drugs. What's going on, Army? Hey. Breakdown of cannibalism and abuse scandal. <laughs> Did you say cannibalism? <laughs> oh, yes! Yeah. That's what- that's one of the things he wants- I- I remember this now. Uh, he wants to, like, eat all of his girlfriends. Oh, what? wait, no, 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 you're joking, right? Well, Are you gonna I make think... me click this link? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> I- I think that he was, like, kind of jokingly about it, but he's got, like, this weird fetish for eating people. And that came out during the whole thing. Um, okay. Vor that's it's just vor, isn't it? It can't be just vor. Because vor is like wanting to be eaten. I think it's more brutal than that. Yeah. I don't remember the exact details. Oh no. I hey, content warning here. Oh great, here it comes. <laughs> well most people wouldn't be surprised at the nature of dirty talk or sexting in twenty twenty one. The alleged conversations include talk of rape fantasies, the desire to inflict pain on his partners, and in one in which- and one in which the actor reportedly said he was, quote, 100% a cannibal. What? <laughs> Just come right out and say it. While a lot of the focus and reactions from the public have been centered on his sexual fantasies, from BDSM to, quote, drinking blood, quote, cutting toes, and his alleged, quote, cannibalism, the real focus here should be on the women who say they were abused! Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> it should maybe be on both. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Arm. Army? We can't ever talk about Army Hammer ever again. Anyway, I always confuse him with the fictional character, uh, Ju Justin Hammer? Oh, from, from Iron Man? From oh. Iron Man 2. The freaking who plays him? Sam Rockwell. Yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah. The bad <laughs> tech bro. The bad tech bro that we decided... Played the same character in another movie, or am I misremembering? What was I looking up? <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna Google something before. Anyway, yeah, great grandson of oil tycoon Armand Hammer. Oh, okay, good for him. That's. Wait, who is the camera person I'm talking Army about? Army Hammer! Huh? Yes! I don't like this. Oh. This is a, um,. I, I looked up Justin Hammer, uh, and I clicked on his the Wikipedia page for the character, and under the powers and abilities section, Justin Hammer is a normal middle-aged man. <laughs> That's <a massive> <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, uh, thanks for that description, I guess. Oh, That's I found- I, oh shit, I found Ass War. normal middle-aged man. <laughs> I, I you just don't have to put the powers and abilities tabs under a comic book character in Wikipedia. You can just skip that if it's just a normal dude. <laughs> I love normal middle aged man. Like that has something to do with his powers. Powers. He's just a guy, you know. Yeah, his like, his ability is that he is middle aged. <laughs> ability no, depression. <laughs>
Um, Just since it's having a bad day. So. Hey, I sent deep ass lore into uh, okay. into the Discord. Go stuff in Did you say deep said. ass lore? Yeah, deep ass lore. Okay. Are we talking about Derek Jeter? Uh, it's worse. We're talking about Overwatch. Oh, I see. Did did that get discussed while I was away? I yes. found I found the place that um that incepted the idea of her ass being canon into my head. <laughs> her ass being <laughs> canon. Yeah, like normally I don't think asses are necessarily canon because like in canon media they don't generally talk about butts unless it's like Smut. True. So what butt smut can you tell me about Widowmaker Overwatch? Um, so someone posted a picture of Widowmaker, but without um, scoliosis. It says, concept Widowmaker, but she visited a chiropractor. And someone responded and said, don't you realize that her ass is supposed to represent the giant opus... O op opus... The a word? All right. No, the what? back part of a thorax. Okay. Anyway, this was enhanced at the same time they slowed down her heartbeat to give her purple skin. Now, there isn't a source for that. There is not, so this is just a terrible man on this, the internet. It could be. He it could just be asshead cannon. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm under the impression that that is cannon. I'm also, but, like, I don't know the proper series of words to Google to find out. So for, I guess, context, um, Widowmaker is an Overwatch character who looks like exactly how a man would design a video game woman. Uh, yeah, it, she's a Blizzard woman, all right. She is very slim and has the biggest ass, and you also the like the way that she stands that somehow emphasizes her chest and her butt at the same time makes it look like her back is broken at all times. Also, like every... Well, a man's ideal woman. She is blue. <laughs> yeah, that too. This is a, this is a uh, very specific fetish. <laughs> uh, no, my experiences are universal. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess Chris was thinking he saw somewhere that it, for some reason her ass being so huge is like a part of her backstory. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> I remain unconvinced that it isn't. <laughs> that it isn't? But all you could find was some dude saying, her ass is big because she's a spider. So far, yes, but I got distracted because of the cannibalism of an actor. <laughs> yeah, right. well, fair. That then happened? This is not this Bizutsune's day. Given what we know about Blizzard, I'm 100% willing to believe that Widowmaker being blue is just some gross dude's fantasy. Yeah, they, like, they could the it. Reason. It was probably Cole Cassidy who wrote that. Probably. Which one is he? I don't, I don't keep track of him. Cole the, Cassidy already. Uh, Gun Shootsman? What's his name? High Noonsman? Replace oh. the name High Noonsman. Oh, it's Cole Cassidy. I've forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. Because I did, it's very forgettable. I did recently see a picture of Scout from Overwatch. Or, I say, oh, fuck. Scout from Team Fortress 2 dressed in cosmetics from that game that make him look vaguely like a cowboy. And they're like, it's him. This is McCree's new design. <laughs> and and there was a reply that just said, "Yo, it's twelve o'clock, dumbass." I love how it implies that he needs a new design. <laughs> yeah, to to fit with the new name. Honestly, they should just go for it, considering that like ass. the considering the uh, Team Fortress characters have just oh, are just better. Yeah, just better. It helps that there's only nine of them. Yeah, like, the thing about... I like the Overwatch characters. Like, there's definitely been, like, a lot of ink spilled on, like, how good or bad the Overwatch characters are. And I don't mind them, but, like, Blizzard would never put out anything as good as Meet the Team. Oh, yeah, no. That's just, like, an actual seminal piece of internet history. Yeah. Again, not this Mizutsune's day. No, it's... it's we're kicking its ass. <laughs> um, it's cryogenic. It, it's it's scientifically enhanced spider ass. <laughs> and and now we get to ride it, and it's giant spider ass. Oh man, you fucking wish. 
No, I don't. No, I, I do not. You don't want to ride the spider ass, Tim? <laughs> it's blue and everything. It is blue. That's probably the most appealing thing about it. Yeah. To me as a man. Yeah. I mean, like moths, I'm just attracted to that natural blue light. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> this thing has not stood up in like... A, a while. <laughs> and yet its tail still exists. I have not. I've been completely on the head, so... I, I have only been... I mean, you know me in this one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I see a spider ass and... <laughs> But it, it's got a giant ass tail, like, it's it's important to the lore. Hey Tim, you know how you keep okay. joking one day one of our videos is gonna get sucked in, into the algorithm somehow? Yeah. I hope it's Come not in. this. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me on a personal level, hope it's a different one. <laughs> These jokes the could be title. damaging to my character. I think, like, the problem is it's going to be whatever the least interesting video is, no matter what, like, the one where we just have the most mundane conversation about, like, politics or something is going no, to be Not even one. that, because, like, at least that could get, like, controversy going amongst shitheads. <laughs> um, it's gonna be, like, one of the Overwatch ones where we literally only talk about what is happening in the game and is not compelling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for one of the ones where you say something kind of not great and then get, like, cancelled. <laughs> well, the, you looked into the future and we were already cancelled. It's true. Did I? Wait, what? Oh, no, that was Chris who did. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, like, I... Did I say that? I believe I would, but I don't remember. There's just a lot of these conversations that, like, I'm glad we record it because I would... They would just not register. Yeah, like, any time... Like, if I ever go back and, wa like put it on random and watch something i'm like i have no memory of these events no like didn't we have like when you and me were playing together tim didn't we have like a pondering my cube thing I, did i remember that right is that, that the sequel to so pondering one or one's orb well it was started with like a conversation about how there's a lot of cubes in popular oh, media cubes. yeah and Haley, like the all spark minecraft are, yeah not, what, not no, not what? Minecraft. Just like, like the Allspark the and then the, yeah, the Allspark and the Mother Cubes or Box or whatever. Yeah, Mother Box or, from uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. What? And also maybe Joss Whedon's Justice League. What? <laughs> or the Companion Cube from Portal. That's sure. probably not popular. Um, no one. I don't know what the fuck this fucking Mother Cube is, but. Like, the entire it's internet the, knows the, what a companion cube is. It's the this mother is, box from Zack Snyder's Justice League. That, you're just talking about a woman's vagina. No. What? Are you, what? <laughs> Not true. Mother no, box? Uh, and, and the, alien the mother explodes at the beginning of Justice League and reveals to Batman a cube. <laughs> what Reveal is going <laughs> on in DC? <laughs> <laughs> it's Batman, probably best not Batman to think about it. Chasing, Batman's chasing like a cat burglar, and then some guy comes and attacks him, and then he explodes into a into information about a cube. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even explode into a cube. No, he <laughs> his his form explodes into basically like a sign saying, "Hey, there's gonna be a cube." Is is Zack Snyder's <laughs> the Justice League, the Wachowskis, the Matrix? No. I don't think so. But also, I think that was only in the Joss Whedon cut. I, that, it was? The, yes, I believe so. Alright. I think there was more, um, like, actual narrative surrounding the cube before it was announced to Batman by an exploded alien. <laughs> okay. Wait, did we get these things tail off? Anyway, yes. I just wanted oh, to- Oh, it's right here! Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh! You know, I okay. just wanted to, uh, right. confirm- <laughs> I just wanted to confirm pondering my cube because, you know, I'm going to have a lot of time here. And I, I may do something with that. You need to, like, copyright it real quick. Yeah. You know, to yourself. I don't know. I don't think that people can make money on memes, so probably just don't bother. <laughs> meme economy is oversaturated, but once I introduce my meme killing virus, only I will have the memes. This is literally the plot to you, Go the Abridged. Is this, like, a Oh, right. <laughs> 
I was going for more Bond villain, but you know. Definitely gave me Syndrome Incredibles vibe. I mean, Syndrome's a kind of Bond villain. Is he? No. <laughs> well, okay. if, you consider Bond, <laughs> if you consider Bond villains comic book villains and Syndrome a comic book villain, then sure, well, we can yeah, consider Syndrome them. Well, yeah, Syndrome is a comic book villain. I just, I don't know if Bond villains are. I would say uh, that they're kind of comic book villainy. Yeah, I'm just maybe gonna stop. On the yeah. Alright. Because it is almost dead. Sorry, I just literally cannot be I just right. Do you hold minus, Haley? That's right. Okay. Hang on. Hold down minus, and then you should see sub camp one or something. Hopefully. Yes. Okay, cool. Unless you were Owen Carlos, in which case you would never see sub camps ever. What? The game has a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> it's one of those things we remind him about constantly. He's like, oh, yeah. Okay, trying to figure out how to... It's kind of over some mountains. See that? Maybe, uh... Maybe come to the... What arrow am I? Come to the red arrow first. Oh! oh. oh. Yikes. Wait, did someone just like hit it once? I, I put down a blast toad and it killed it. Oh. I didn't realize it was that close to death. Please let me move, okay. It's in the alley here. Yeah, yeah you'll you, get you're, you'll, you're, you're like here. ten feet away. Oh I got a water work. But uh is pondering as soon it? as you're done pondering that. Yeah, tend to potter, ponder my water orb. I was just so impressed with how he set that toad down and then it exploded. That's what I was gonna look up. I was gonna look up Spider-Man. Yeah, follow me. Oh, yeah. You. I'm gonna try and watch all three Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans before Saturday because I've never watched any of them. The They're good. You got the I'm not, I haven't watched them in a while. I remember them being good. Um, but I also not watched the Amazing Spider-Man movies, so that'll be interesting. I've only I only watched the first one and it was while it was in theaters and I have barely any memory of it at all, if any. Yeah. It's very unmemorable. That was my impression of it. Hey, I got a warp. Warp under my orb. It's an warp. We do that every time. Anyway. I got a plate. Now, what am I seeing? Oh, you sent Scoliosis ass in here. Yeah. Yeah. What? Don't you realize that her ass is supposed to represent the giant Apistos? Yeah, I didn't even try on that one. And a spider. Can you zoom in? <laughs> I can't zoom in. I I think that that's a joke, right? Like, God, be right. He literally says, "Don't you realize that her ass is supposed to represent the giant?" <laughs> that has to be a joke. Or else, gamers. Just like the, oh my god, the whole, this is like, a good. So I googled widow widowmaker opus up uh, opistos opistosma. Yeah, whatever. Opistosma. Anyway, and like the only results are people responding to this Tumblr, and mm -hmm. a good response is TFW. Know you know what an opistama is, but you also clearly jack off to purple video game woman. Oh no. Yeah, I wouldn't expect this comment on Tumblr, honestly. I'll do one more hunt and then. All right. Yeah. Call it. You're ruining the lore by robbing her of her cybernetically enhanced tactical ass. <laughs> that, yeah, that's a very good response. <laughs> um, how much uh, Zutsune gear can you make? Oh yeah, Tim. You missed. Yes. You missed the important part of Overwatch's lore. Um, yeah. give me, give me two French names from pop culture. Pierre. Okay. No. I'm, like... <laughs> Tim Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Is Timothy Chalamet French? Or just... The French name. Or, or just pretentious? His name is spelled with two E's. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> anyway... He's got an accent. Anyway, um... I don't know what you expected me to say. 
<laughs> anyway, Widowmaker's John, canon John name. Widow, Widowmaker's canon name is Amelie Lacroix. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my lord! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks, yeah, it looks like you just need to fight some more stuff. Quality fin, you don't even get from Mizutsune. And nor, nor do you get pearl hide. But yeah, you need claw, plate, and water orb. Orb. Uh, we could just fight another one of those, I don't care. Yeah, sure. No, or I'll the port. Hey, she has got a uh, boosted, right? Yeah. How was that? Uh, I had about we got boosted. Boosted, booster. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. I mean, I got sick like I usually do, but. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the the next day I was pretty I was kind of just groggy for most of it, but then like 24 hours after it kicked my ass. But then I just went to sleep early and felt fine the next day. All right, I'm just wondering because I'm getting it on Sunday, and yeah, it wasn't. I was kind of wondering what I was supposed to expect. Deal. It was probably about as bad as the second one. But also, yeah. I I got boosted and flu shot at the same time, and I think that's part of why Dang. it really kicked my ass. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Damn. Well, losers, I got my flu shot done months ago because I had to. That's good. Wait, why did you have to? Oh, for uh, the pharmacy uh, demands updated records because we work in healthcare. Okay. No. It's like That's if you try to go to a hospital and you don't have a flu shot, they're going to want to know why. Uh huh. Yeah, so I've finally gotten around to that. I kind of wish I'd done it a month ago, but then I didn't want to do it in like the last couple of weeks. Yeah, whatever. I mean, no, no. I mean, you, you could, you kind of just couldn't miss a day sick, right? Like, I mean, we literally like, yeah, we planned it for when we did because it was like, all right, well, I guess we could just crash all Sunday. Yeah, it was like yeah. the only Sunday that we had nothing going on. Yeah, it reached a point where like the. Uh, where I would have had to get, gotten it, like, during finals week or whatever. Uh -huh. Especially because, like, it, the appointments were, appointments were pretty full, like, the last couple weeks, I think. So. Or, yeah. Anyway, so, that'll be fun. Yeah, I had a weird... We, we just got it at CVS, and they kind of have a little office set up for it. But, um... But what's weird about this little office they have set up for it is that they don't have, like, the medical, like, table bed thing that I'm used to them having. Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, re basically required to tell anyone giving me a shot that I have fainted getting a shot before. So, I told this woman that I had fainted getting a shot before, just so she was, like, warned about it. And she's like, oh, okay, uh... And I'm like, so I guess it's just, I should just lie back in this chair and she's like i guess i'm like great <laughs> yeah what we were told is like if you don't have one of those like bed things you at least want a chair with armrests so you don't like fall off the chair which it had like maybe two inch high armrests yeah so it was very like all right well <laughs> good luck <laughs> but it was obviously totally fine but yes if i had fainted there would have been nothing stopping me from just like Smashing against the ground. Yeah, that's the that issue with like. Caught you. She felt confident. Sure, she would. <laughs> uh, when I got my booster from Walgreens, they simply did not ask me to wait 15 minutes, so I just left because it was a two minute drive home. Mm. Huh. How did they fail to mention that? <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> there was a similarly weird thing when we went to the um, the speedway to get our shot, and I was driving, and I was like, just so you know, <laughs> I fainted before, and they're like, and you're behind the wheel. Correct. And I'm like, 
Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, if I faint, we'll just wait. <laughs> I hope I hope you didn't have anything you wanted to do with this line, because I was just gonna kinda hang out if I fainted. I mean they did have you like pull around into a waiting area, but I could have fainted in the interim, I guess. It's true. Yeah. Well luckily you got lots of clearance at the speedway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like even if you fainted with your foot down on the pedal, it would have been a while. Drift onto the middle of the track while Haley like tries to hit the brakes. <laughs> well no, what Haley is gonna do is make sure your foot is down and then just do a few fucking laps. <laughs> Because that's hella cool that we're on the speedway. Yeah. And you can take <laughs> solace in the fact that if you do crash, it would not have been the worst crash to happen there. Oh, most definitely not. People have died. Yes. I, okay, so, somewhat related. I have never in my life seen anyone care about Formula One racing until Twitter two days ago. Uh, one, it was the end of the season. Two, it has really, like, taken off in the States a lot the past, like, two years. Has it? Yeah. I'm like... It's kind of like when baseball is randomly, like, a thing people are talking about. Like, when like, you, you see it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you have never once talked about this before. Why am I to believe you have ever cared about baseball? <laughs> But yeah, I, th I think uh, Formula One is just having a moment in the U.S. Uh, I guess I mean, it's, so. it's just like the Premier League, right? It's just more accessible yeah. than ever, and people are like, wait, I like this. I was just like, why am I seeing Trevor Noah tweet about Formula One racing? Like, that has never happened before, nor do I think he actually cares. <laughs> anyway, I guess something weird happened. Yeah, that's about the extent of my knowledge of it, too. Uh, the Finnish guy won, but there was, like, a weird technicality, and people were like, wait, that's just... Like, we're not upset that he won, because we're fine with him, but this shouldn't have happened exactly like this, we don't think. Yeah, something like... Honestly, racing sounds really stupid to me, but I can't say that. <laughs> In Indianapolis, um... Well, I you can say it about Formula One, but if you insult IndyCar, we're going to have problems. <laughs> I like. But it's like, I like the anytime idea. someone crashes, they just kind of gotta like go around the track a little bit and wait, yeah. and then like hopefully get put back in the positions they were in. <laughs> and no, you're like, not allowed to. You're not allowed to pass. You're not allowed to pass, I guess. But somehow, somehow, what happened in this, I guess, is that uh, it, it was one of those. Crash. And and so they were doing like a safety car lap thing or whatever, and it ended up that the guy who was in first ended up being put behind the cars that he had lapped or something. Yeah, even though, uh, even though like in general they got to a point in the race where like lapped cars were essentially just like out of the race, mm -hmm. where it's yeah. like they are in their own pack, they can fight for ranking among that, but they are like they, they are just factually not going to get in front of people but i just love the concept of like you race until there's a crash and then they just kind of like make it up and then you keep racing <laughs> but that is my understanding uh of the monaco grand prix it's is like... you race for 10 minutes someone crashes and then they go uh you were in first uh, who was who was where all right uh, you go here you go there <laughs> Whose bright idea was it to, like, drive on Monaco's only street anyway? Rich people. Yeah. You gotta do something while sitting in their tax haven. Nope, nope, now, that, now he's going down. Um, I like the idea, like, one or two levels below Formula One, because it exists like how soccer does with, like, relegation, I think. Mm. Um, there is, like, an all-electric version of oh. uh, the Formula One cars. It might be called Formula E or something like that, but, um, like, you can, on, t like, through, like, your phone while you're watching, kind of, like, vote to give speed boosts oh, to people, I've and there are this. parts on the track that, like, engines are artificially capped uh, when they are everywhere on the track except for certain zones so they can get, like, turbo boosts. What? Yeah. It's very video- it's yeah. very video game -y. Yeah, it's a real fucking thing. Oh, bad. And I'm like, I don't know, that sounds real stupid in a way I really like. 
I mean, that doesn't sound like it could ever be fair. Yeah, but who cares? It's probably fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's kind of like stock car racing at that point. So much yelling. <laughs> Fucking ass. It's started on you! What about its ass? <laughs> it's tactically enhanced. <laughs> I guess a tail is a tactically enhanced ass. Yeah. It's used as a weapon sometimes. About it. It's tactical. Have you ever thought about how Annabelle's ass is tactically enhanced? <laughs> yeah, every time she fucking climbs on my chest and starts smacking me in the face with it. <laughs> this seems like a tactic, I will say. It was too far. Yeah, it has some crazy reach at times is the thing about it. It will just go halfway across the dang zone at you. Yeah, sometimes it does just, like, jump and you're dead under it. Yeah, it does a jump slam. And welcome to hey. Japan. That's not how that... What? <laughs> go on. What happened to me? Good lord. I almost did it again. Usually it's like tiny slides aren't too destructive. Okay, it's tired. Time to get the wombo combo again. Saying that the monster asked for this is the... <laughs> That's why I have Monster Hunter language on. So I yeah, you have to ignore the ethics of Monster Hunter. <laughs> it doesn't really work. There, it, there aren't any. <laughs> they try a little bit. Sometimes in quest it, descriptions, they're like, "This m fucking Brachidios murdered an orphanage." And it's like, okay, <laughs> but why was there an orphanage within punching range of a Brachidios? It's an explosion distance of. All right. Oh. Well, oh, the problem is it. Oh. That. Okay, so hold R down, and then hit Y into a wall, and then B. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, that's fine. It's an okay, okay. I always like when monster Hunter descriptions are like, there's too many bubbles. Kill them using Tsunade because it makes bubbles. Some like yeah, crypt. or like... Yeah. <laughs> or like, I was out in the middle of the woods, trying to hum to myself quietly, but off in the distance, I heard a Yeon Kutku kind of crack an egg a little bit. It must die. <laughs> yeah. You must murder it and bring me its corpse. I need confirmation that it was this exact one that that interrupted my whistling. Thank God. I you never. Come back and say, I no, never laid eyes it. on it. <laughs> nope, not it. Go kill another one. What? You already have its armor and all its weapons. I don't care. <laughs> That's why normally, like, the plots are always like, I don't know, an ecological disa disaster is happening, and it's probably because of the monsters. Yeah, every, pretty much every Monster Hunter's plot is like, big monster is, is screwing up the, the world. And now there's too yeah, many of them, and there should be fewer. Please kill them all. Basically, this Wait, is like... Simple in real life? Basically, it's deer hunting season, only instead of deer, it's a magical... Fox that shoots water out of its mouth? Out of its mouth? <laughs> and in the grand scheme, I haven't really seen that many of them. Deer or Mizutsune? I haven't seen. I mean, I guess I haven't seen all too many deer either. But... Kelby. You think in. Uh, in Monster Hunter, do they have like. Arzuros Roadkill? I guess they don't have cars, right? <laughs> so that'd be kind of weird. <laughs> that'd be... Oh, well, they got, like, sand <laughs> chips. They have what? They have... Yeah, you're right. I think they ever, like, swipe, side swipe a, uh, uh, sand plesy off? I like the idea that... I, like, they have airships and stuff, too. 
But the Wait. only ground-based transport we've seen is like a very slow cart or those very fast sand surfers. Yeah. yeah. So like only people on sand go fast. I'm the sand guardian. <laughs> Yeah, like I, it's a literal caravan, uh, like a wagon covered, a uh, covered wagon caravan, isn't it? That's that's yeah. like the only ground transport we've yeah. really seen, other than other than sand guys. I also like to state, for the record, that uh, this is, this was the first Mr. Tuesday tale I've gotten. Oh, huh. weird! How did you manage that? I don't know, but when I when I got the tail, I did that like exclamation point like new new item, and it's just like what? Yeah, that's weird. That is, it, I I, it shocked me. I guess considering I've played like four hundred hours of this game and have yet to see more than one wyvern gem, that uh, anything could happen. Yeah. And yet I got a water orb in our one hunt before this. Yeah. Also, you guys are just drowning in the Elder Dragon rares. This is true. Well, let's be clear here. Only, uh... uh Only Michelle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other ones I'm much more neutral on. It's got its eyes on you! I think it's fun. Do you think it likes me? <laughs> it's Just play cool. Play <laughs> cool. Well, uh... Play cool, don't stab it to death. Aw, oh, no, shit! I, just... <laughs> I messed up! <laughs> I saw her looking at me across the bar, and she winked, and then I stabbed her! <laughs> mm. Do you think I still got a chance, bro? Not to! Oh. Great. Uh, anyway, Jordan, uh, apparently next week's episode is the last one of Hawkeye. It's only six episodes Ooh. long. Well, that was how long Falcon the Winter Soldier was. So. Uh, yeah, I never watched that one. Or Wand Wandaverse. No. Wandaverse? WandaVision. Wandaverse. I didn't watch Falcon the Winter Soldier, and I, I like the first couple episodes of Wandavision, and I should finish it at some point, but... What I've heard about it is that people like the first couple episodes. Yeah. And it was just, like, boring stuff. Well, that's kind of kind of what it happens is that it like starts out as like this kind of weird, like soap opera, like parody thing, and then turns into like more Marvel stuff, and it's just like yeah, yeah. like they need to have the confidence to be able to just do like weird things with the superhero properties, which is like yeah. what makes comics cool. Which unfortunately is going to happen in Disney. Yeah. We trapped it. Or, we trapped it. Is, we trapped? Somebody trapped it. Did someone I don't know who. It? Did you trap? I'm having my kitty. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Um. <laughs> what what people with cats can do is something I often forget in this game. Yeah, Annabelle can do that. Okay. Annabelle can do that with her tactical ass. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I walk in. Uh, I walk in the, my door after work and I just fall into pitfall trap because I wasn't paying attention. It was yeah. dark. <laughs> and then. Anyway, I'm, I'm glad to hear that they are tracksuit Draculas. Yes. Like, they, they take a lot from the Fraction Hawkeye, but not all of it they take well. Yeah, that's the thing. It's Perhaps like I don't, have a lot of in, I don't have a lot of interest in watching Hawkeye, but the fact that it was Fraction Hawkeye that they're inspired by, like, actually made it interesting. Which is kind of the same way I thought about WandaVision, because I like the... Um, there's a Vision run that is, I'm sure, that inspired that one a fair bit. Oh, it is? Isn't there... Like, a... Uh, a House of M? That, uh, like, part that is very much Wanda in her own universe thing? Well, House of M is her creating, like, a weird, like, side universe that has all the mutants and then deciding that there aren't going to be any more mutants. Okay. And she, like, makes it so that, uh, like, Magneto is in charge of everything. Because House of M. House of Magneto. Oh, not House and of... Then... I... I... Oh, and so House of X is House of Xavier. Kinda. There's a show I think. Like straight up um, uh, yo. But yeah, so it kind of starts out as like the sort of uh, like weird like mutant world and then turns into um, no, actually, everything sucks. 
And that's how they that's how they got rid of all the mutants. Oh, okay. which nobody likes. Played at all? I hope they introduce Magneto and make her her dad. Because what's the point? I want Viv Vision to exist because I think Viv Vision is cool. Yes. Well, that's like I said. The the Vision thing is that's where she came from. This is. Oh, that's where she was introduced. Issue. Yeah, this is twelve. It's good. You should you should read it. But it's this twelve inch miniseries of Vision trying to like live a normal life and everything going really poorly. Yeah, a, he tries to do that a lot, and it never goes well for him. No. Uh, that just means you have it in your wish list. Oh. And you like haven't done something about it. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. So you guys can keep doing whatever, but I need to get a little bit more work done. Vision's daughter. Yeah, he, he made himself a family. Yeah, and her name is Viv Vision, and she's pretty cool. Is her name Viv Vision? Yeah. It's... You know Vision? <laughs> he made a daughter. <laughs> okay. What's her name? I don't know, man. Okay. What? Bye. <laughs> Bye, Jordan. Bye. Bye, Jordan. Bye. 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 Bye.